Hello, this is Jared from Commit to Quality, and in this video we're going to go over the git log command. Git log is a command you can use that gives you the history of all the commits on a branch or even just on a given file. So let's just do git log in git bash and see what happens. What we can see here is there are four commits. The initial one, then the second, third, and the latest one, which is the fourth. We'll break this down just to go over um, exactly what each line means. So the commit here is the commit ID. This is how Git identifies each of its own individual um, unique commits. Typically, you do only need the first seven characters to identify a unique commit, but um, it spat out all of it here for you. Second line, you've got the author, which is, of course, me in, in these terms. This comes from your Git config file, which I'll show you in a future video. However, this is very useful when you're working on large projects and you might end up seeing that um, someone's made a change. You need to know exactly who's made that change. You can see it here. You've then got the date of when the commit was made and then you've got the commit message. So when we are doing our inline commits with git commit hyphen m and the message, this is what it shows here. So it gives you a description of uh, the changes that have been made. There's a few options you can pass to git log, which makes it a bit more usable. And one of my favorites is the git log hyphen number command. So if I say hyphen two, what this is gonna do is it's gonna give me my last two commits. So I should only see these two commits after hit and enter on this. So I'll do that. And great, it's just got our two latest commits that have been made. Now, you might be thinking, is there an easy way to find out what I can do using git log? And the answer is yes. Um, if you've seen my previous videos, you'll probably know what to do on this. But just for a recap, if you say git log hyphen hyphen help, what will happen is this will open a web browser, which gives you all of the options you can pass through git log, and it gives you a description of them. And of course, the description of the actual git log command. Awesome, so with that opened up, you can see git log shows you the commit logs gives you a description of what these are as well. And if I scroll down a bit into the options section, we should see that there's a, there we are, a hyphen N, which is the one we just used, that gives you um, the amount of the latest commits. Now, in all honesty, majority of my time, if I'm using log, git log, I'm using it with the knife number, but I do want to show you a few more, which I find useful, which you might encounter, which are things that will happen to you on a common basis. So the first simple one I want to do, I'm going to swap back to uh, git bash. And the first I want to do is we talked about you only need say the first seven for these to be unique. Let's just do uh, clear and we'll do git log and I'm going to say a brief commit. And what this is going to do is going to shorten the commit IDs to just the unique values that we need. So then I can use these, say I wanted to compare the history between two commits. I can do that and tell you what, let's do that next. So what I want to do is I want to say, only show me commits that were made between this and this commit. So imagine we had say a lot, say 10 commits, and you just want to find them between two given values, you can do that. And that's the way you can scope the amount of changes that have been made. So if I say git log, and then I say, um, let's take the latest commit ID, which is this, and say dot dot dot, and then I'm going to say between this commit, what we should see is it's going to give me the latest one, the one in between, which is this one, but it won't give me this because I said only give me the changes between these two commits. So if I hit enter on this, there we are, we can see adding in extra characters. So to show log history, and we can see making small text changes, but we don't see this commit or this commit. Okay, so what if you have an issue that was introduced in the last week, or maybe in the last day or last hour? How can we check that only these commits in the last week? Well, we can do that by saying git log space hyphen hyphen since, and then we can say in double quotes, say one week ago. And if I hit enter, so I'll clear that so it makes it a little bit easier to see. If I hit enter, you can see all of my commit history is shown because they were all made in the last week. But previously to this video, I made sure that I had one commit was a little bit later than the rest. So I'm gonna say, instead of one week ago, I'm just gonna say one hour ago. So I should see, that because of the time I'm recording this, this is the only commit I should see. So I'm gonna hit enter. 
and here we are we can say okay something's gone wrong in the last hour well this is the only commit that's been made and then we can scope down we can we can check out this commit and we can have a look at what at what's actually gone wrong now i also talked about the start that we can check commits on just a given file as well so let's see how we can do that what i'm going to say is clear so it puts us to a nice clean part i know i've got a file called uh, let's do ls to see what it's called um like and subscribe.txt so i want to see all the changes made to that, all the commits made to just that file so i can say git log hyphen hyphen and i like say space like and subscribe txt if i hit enter on that what we can see is all the commits that have just been made to that single file so we can see there's been three in this case but if i say this subscribe file i think there should only be one there we are which is just the create and we've never edited this we've only edited the like and subscribe txt file and of course you can combine these as well so i could say um git log uh what do i want to do let's say hyphen hyphen since uh and we'll say one hour ago if i hit and i'll keep this which means i want to also check the subscribe text well, actually let's change it to the like because that's the one that had commits on it if i hit enter it's only showing that one from the hour ago and if i said I think if I put say three hours ago, we should see more because I've done them in a fairly quick succession. Awesome. So that's just a way of you can show up. You can kind of chain things. You can scope things to files. You can scope it to your branch. It totally depends what you need to do on it. So if there's a problem with a given file in a commit, you can then just cut that down and try and focus on where the issue lies. So as I say, there's plenty more to go through. So I definitely would have a look at the git log help command. And if there is any questions of any of the options, drop me a comment and I'm more than happy to help. In the next video, we're going to demo how we can use the commits, also known as snapshots, of course, to roll back and revert to previous versions. As always, thank you for watching. Have a good day.